Hello cool ass, it's Pablo here and welcome back to Barca Universal. Yet another game is upon us and tomorrow evening we will be returning to Copa del Rey action. We're going to be taking on Rayo Vallecano away from home in the round of 16. And we all know guys, if we win tomorrow evening, we will be in the quarterfinals. So there is a lot at stake. It's a game against the Segunda Division side. But let's win this one. And yet again, this will be an away fix. So we actually haven't played at the Camp Nou all month, guys. We finally will have a game at the end of the month, the 31st, on the Sunday against Athletic Club. That should be a really interesting match. But this one, tomorrow evening, Wednesday evening, 9pm, local time over there in Spain. Back to the regular evening kickoffs. And of course, a Segunda side away from home. Usually for me, I find this quite a tricky ground to go to, especially with fans. But without the fans, their stadium looks quite nice now. I know they did some work on it not, not long ago, so... We should be ready for this, and we should be winning it. But let's actually start with Rayo, guys, because I always find it interesting when we are coming up against sides from the lower divisions. And of course, Rayo, you know, aren't that far down. They may even come back up next season, but they are a side in the division below us, so we wouldn't have seen a lot of them this season. But I think what I always see with Rayo is a competitive side. Growing up as a Barca fan, over the past few years, Rayo have been up and down between the Segunda and the first division of Spain. And I think in recent seasons, even once we've gone there, away from home, it has been a tricky game in their stadium, I said earlier, when they have fans in, it really can be quite hostile there, and I remember not long ago, guys, we got a very late victory with goals from Dembele and, of course, Luis Suarez in the last minute. We really, really suffered in that game. So I do honestly think when we go to these sorts of grounds, Rayo, Cornea, teams like this, when they face Barcelona in the cup, at their home ground, of course, no fans, it definitely hurts them. But even so, even so I think... Rayo will look to make things difficult. They will look to frustrate us, as many teams do. And Rayo, maybe as we'd expect, are sitting quite nicely in the Segunda. Like I said, they usually do come up and down between the first and the second divisions of Spain. They currently sit fourth in the table, so you'd imagine they will be pushing for promotion back to La Liga come the end of the season. And despite losing to Mallorca at home on the weekend, which could be the sort of game we look at as a reference point, I'm, so, I'm sure Koeman and Schroeder and his coaching staff will be looking at that in e with eager anticipation. But they did actually beat Elche. 2-0 in the last round of the Copa del Rey to get here. So look, Rayo like us, they beat Elche 2-0 to get here. They dominated them in that game too. They're not doing badly in the Segunda, so I am expecting a good Rayo side. It won't be an easy game for Barcelona. Having said that, we know we should be winning this one. I'm expecting the players to be really up for it, but we have got to be careful. And I'm sure all of you guys are wondering before this sort of cup match, well, how do Rayo play? What sort of side are they? Are they going to be coming us, or are they going to put 10 men behind the ball and be aggressive? And the truth is with Rayo guys, they are actually quite an adaptable side. So look, we we don't exactly know what to expect from Rayo tomorrow. If I was to give my honest professional opinion on it, I would expect them to get behind the ball, even sides who like to attack. You look at Elche, who they could do so much more attacking, but when they play against Barcelona, it's just 10 men behind the ball, one man on the halfway line. And you wouldn't expect Rayo to be so, so deep, but I do at the same time, guys. Look, at home, in the Copa del Rey, against Barcelona, I expect them to sit in. I expect them to soak up pressure, soak things up, uh, frustrate Barcelona. So again, it's all down to Barca to do our jobs, win the crucial game, and really get at that defence. Because if we're not quick enough, if we're not sharp enough, I am expecting Rayo to be really up for it. And we've got to make sure we match their levels. But if we actually now move on to Barcelona, I actually come into this game with quite a lot of hope and expectation for this one. And I've got that for a few reasons, really. I am looking forward to this fixture. Firstly, because I really do feel as if the team right now, Barcelona, has found some rhythm. We do look much more solid and like an actual competitive side in recent weeks, for now at least. Secondly, I also do feel the Copa del Rey should be a big motivation for this side. I've said this for a few weeks now, but I really do see this trophy as the one we should be going for, really, really pushing for it. And I do love the idea of the fact that, look, if we win tomorrow, we're already in a quarterfinal. So that puts us in a really good position to actually go on and win some silverware in this season. And thirdly, guys, Lionel Messi will be back for this one. And this is an interesting case because Messi usually, for this sort of fixture, would have played on the weekend. He probably would have been rested for the game against Rayo, in my opinion. But now what Messi's had is a lot of rest. He's been able to recover mentally and physically. And he comes here for an away mid midweek trip to Vallecas in a big Copa del Rey game. And it's a fully fresh Messi. For me, that's only positive. It's really good news. And I'm hoping it just gives us that edge on the night. And just touching on a point I mentioned earlier there, guys, about the motivation behind this Copa del Rey this season. With Atletico and Real Madrid out, with some big teams playing each other in the round of 16, whilst we've got a side against us in the second that division I really do see this as a trophy we should be going for and I do hope Kuman gets his side up for this one because I have been really impressed with the progress we've made this season I think Kuman has done a good job in getting these players motivated 
and we've been impressed with the fitness levels. Uh, some of the young players that have come in seem to really fight for the badge in most games, and that has been positive. So I'm hoping Barcelona, Ronald Koeman, they are motivated. I'm expecting a competitive lineup, a really strong lineup, in fact, from Koeman, one that's certainly capable of winning the game. And I really do think we can win this. I'm confident. I think as we all should be. So moving on to that lineup, there certainly are some questions here and there over it. Well, we'll start from the back. I do think Neto is going to come back in goal. When we get into the latter rounds, I am interested to see whether Tostegan does come in. So he draw a Sevilla or a Sociedad, for example. Will he bring Tostegan back in goal? I will be interested to see that. We know Neto maybe wanted to leave in the January transfer window. That hasn't been allowed. At right back, it does look like it's going to be Mingetha again. Dest is training individually right now, so I don't expect him to start at least. Sergio Alberto should be back very soon, but again, I wouldn't expect him to start either. Left back, I think Junior Philippe will come back in. He looks at the cup left back right now. That works very well. It gives Alba four weeks of rest in between league games, and that's very good uh, for now. At the heart of defence, I'd expect Araujo to stay. He looks like the ever-present right now, and with Mingetha over there at right back, with Titi playing on the weekend, I do expect Longley to be partnering the Uruguayan at the back. In midfield, this is the midfield three I've gone for, but I do actually think we could be seeing all sorts of variations tomorrow, of course. We can't forget about Elites Moriba. I don't expect him to start here, but he may be around the sort of first-team setup again. Maybe he'll be called up. But I've gone for Busquets in there. People may be thinking, look, rest Busquets for this game. But if you do remember correctly, Busquets is going to be suspended for the Athletic Club game. So I just thought, why not put him out there? Help us dominate this away mate game and hopefully get us that victory. Next time I've gone for Pjanic, I just think, why not start him? You know, he's sort of our cup midfielder, almost at like Fierpol's our cup left back. If Pjanic isn't playing in the league, let's play him in the cup. And Ricky Puch is another one there. He got his goal on the weekend. He looked right off the bench, even though he played for a, a few minutes. Um, and he got hauled off very early against Coronel. So why not start him there? I do, however, get the impression that Koeman is going to draft in a Pedri or a De Jong for this one. Maybe even both. I'm actually expecting quite a strong midfield. Maybe if I was to predict one, I'd go for Pjanic, Busquets, and then a Pedri in there, or even a De Jong instead of a Pjanic, and maybe he goes almost full strength in midfield. I'm expecting De Jong and Pedri to get some minutes in this one, so watch out for those. I just think it's midweek, away to Rayo. Let's get Pjanic and Ricky in. And then in that front three, almost like the midfield three, there is so much debate going around. But this is what I've gone for. For me, I would start these three up front. Trincao, for me, should get a start. Let's give him some confidence. He looks really bright off the bench against Elche. If he can get a goal tomorrow, that would be huge. And I'd back him to go and get one. Up front, I've gone for Messi. Fully fit Messi in the false nine with Trincao providing width. Let's hope that works nicely. I'm really excited to see what Messi can do, build up some more fitness again. And on the left, I've gone for Griezmann. I just think in this sort of game, we need someone competitive up there. Braithwaite played 120 minutes against Cornea. He played almost a full game. If not the full game, did he play against Elche? I believe he did. So, look, Braithwaite for me should be rested. He shouldn't be starting this game. And then you've got Usman Dembele, who certainly could come in for either Trincao or Griezmann. Um, but I think Griezmann's a fit footballer. You know, he looks after himself very well. Let's get him out there next to Messi and Trincao. And then we've got some potency in the final final third. But to wrap up the match preview, I'm going to go for my prediction here, guys. I got mine right last time for the first time this season, and they are so hard to get bang on correct, aren't they? But I've gone for Rayo 1, Barcelona 3. I do see Rayo causing a few issues on the break. It really does depend on how they play, like we said. Is it going to be 10 men behind the ball? Are we going to make a stupid individual mistake? Let's hope not. It's important for Barcelona to get that first goal tomorrow, really take control of the tie. We don't really want to be going to extra time again. This team is already getting a bit fatigued, but with the players we've got coming back in, look at Longley, who'll be fully fit. Uh, you've got Pjanic and Ricky in midfield, maybe Messi, Trincao. We've got players coming into for this match, and I am up for the Copa this year. I am excited. I'm hoping we can get a 3-1 victory or so. That would be massive for the confidence of the team, and we really want to win this trophy. But that is where I'm going to wrap up the match preview. As always, leave all your thoughts in the comments down below. We will be having some discussions in there, as always, ahead of this Copa del Rey game. Share the videos around, guys, to build the Barca Universal community. Let's get some more fans on the side. Until then, let's hopefully enjoy the game, and I'll see you after it to speak about everything that went on. Goodbye.